What is powerlifting? In today's video, we are going to summarize and discuss the rules and regulation in the sport of powerlifting. Powerlifting isn't your typical gym workout, it's a full on sport. It has its own rules, competitions, and community. At its core, powerlifting revolves around the big three lifts such as the squat, bench press, and deadlift. But here's the kicker, it's not just about lifting the weight, it's about lifting the most amount of weight possible. Each lift challenges different muscle groups and demands focus and technique. Unlike bodybuilding, where the emphasis is on sculpting your physique, powerlifting is all about your pure strength. The sport is not just about lifting heavy weights. It's a complex and exhilarating sport that requires strength, technique, and discipline. Now let's talk about weight classes. Powerlifting competitions are divided into various weight classes to ensure fair competition among lifters of different body sizes. Lifters compete against each other in their respected weight classes allowing for a level playing field and fair comparison of strength. Now let's talk about weigh-ins. Weigh-ins are a critical component of the competition process, playing a pivotal role in ensuring fairness and integrity among competitors. Typically, lifters are required to weigh in within a specific time frame before the start of the competition. In many powerlifting federations, including some of the most prominent ones like the International Powerlifting Federation known as the IPF, lifters are given a two-hour window for weigh-ins. During this two-hour period, lifters must present themselves to the designated weigh-in area to have their body weight recorded by the competition officials. The two-hour weigh-in window serves several important purposes. Firstly, it provides lifters with a designated time frame to make any necessary adjustments to their body weight in order to meet their desired weight class. This may include strategies such as manipulating hydration levels, adjusting food intake, or even employing temporary weight cutting methods. Secondly, the two-hour weigh-in window allows competition organizers to ensure that all the lifters weigh in and are ready to compete in a timely manner. By establishing a specific time frame for weigh-ins, organizers can streamline the registration process and maintain the schedule of events for the competition day. It's worth noting that while the two-hour weigh-in window is common in many powerlifting federations, there may be variations in weigh-in procedures depending on the rules and regulation of the specific organization hosting the competition. Some federations may utilize longer or shorter weigh-in windows or they have additional requirements or protocols in place. In addition to weight classes and weigh-ins, powerlifting competitions can also be categorized as raw or equipped. Raw powerlifting involves lifting without the use of supportive gear beyond essentials like a belt, knee sleeves, and wrist wraps. It's all about showcasing raw strength and technique without any external assistance. Equipped powerlifting, however, allows lifters to use specialized gear such as squat suits, bench shirts, and deadlift suits. These items provide additional support and can help lifters handle heavier weights but they also come with their own set of rules and regulations. Now, let's discuss judging. In powerlifting competitions, each lift performed by a competitor is evaluated by a panel of judges. These judges use a system of white and red lights to indicate whether a lift is successful or not. A white light means that a lift is successful, indicating that the lifter has executed the lift according to the established rules and standards. Conversely, a red light indicates a failed lift, signaling that the lifter has not met the required criteria for the lift. A lifter needs two out of the three judges to give them a white light for a lift to be successful. Therefore, if a lifter only gets one white light, then it's still considered a failed attempt. Now let's talk about the attempts themselves. In a powerlifting competition, lifters are typically allowed three attempts for each of the three main lifts, the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. So in total, there are going to be nine total attempts per lifter. These attempts are strategically planned by the lifter and their coaches based on factors such as the lifter's strength levels, competition goals, and the performance of other lifters in their weight class. The lifter must declare the weight they intend to lift for each attempt before stepping onto the platform. As the lifter approaches the platform for their attempt, the judges closely observe the lift assessing factors such as depth, lockout, and control. Once the lifter completes the lift, the judges signal their assessment using the system of lights as mentioned. Throughout the competition, lifters strategize their attempts carefully, aiming to lift the heaviest weight possible while ensuring successful lifts to maximize their total. Coaches and lifters closely monitor their performance of other competitors in their weight class, adjusting their attempts accordingly to maintain a competitive edge. Now let's get into the action. Let's start with the squat. In powerlifting, the squat is performed with a barbell placed across the lifter's shoulders. The lifter must descend until the top of their thighs are parallel to the ground or below, and then ascend to fully lockout position. 
Throughout the lift, the lifter must maintain control of the weight and keep their back straight. Failure to meet these standards may result in a lifter being disqualified by the judges with a red light. Next up, the bench press. In this lift, the lifter lies flat on the bench with their feet planted firmly on the ground. Once the lifter unracks the weight, they will be given the command to start. They then start to lower the barbell to their chest under control and then they will pause briefly until they hear the command press and then they will press it back up to full extension. The lifter must keep their butt and shoulders in contact with the bench throughout the lift and their feet must remain flat on the ground. Finally, we have the deadlift. This lift involves lifting a loaded barbell from the ground to standing position locking out the hips and knees at the top of the lift. Once in full extension, the lifter will be given the command down which then they may lower the weight in full control. The lifter must maintain control of the weight throughout the movement and they must not hitch or bounce the barbell during the ascent. Lastly, let's touch on the distinction between tested and untested federations. Tested federations conduct drug testing to ensure that the lifters are competing on a level playing field free from performance enhancing drugs. Untested federations on the other hand do not have a drug testing protocol in place, allowing lifters to compete without restrictions on substance use. To conclude this video, powerlifting is a dynamic and challenging sport that encompasses a wide range of lifts, rules, classifications, and federations. Whether you're a raw lifter competing in a tested federation or an untested federation, the key is to train hard, stay focused, and always strive to improve. With that being said, thanks for tuning in in this in-depth exploration of powerlifting and if you found this video informative, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.